So I only have the one slide because I want to make sure that people have my Twitter if they want to get in touch and talk more about any of the stuff that Brian talked about or the stuff that I'll talk about hereafter. But the thing I want to talk about in the next five minutes is what would the world look like if developers could stop caring about secrets? How much of your time do you spend in your day to day worrying about getting secrets to the parts of your application that need them? Maybe you need a service that you deploy to connect to another service or API, or you need it to connect to its data store. There's lots of different ways that you can handle this. Maybe the worst that I want to discourage anyone from doing is by checking those secrets into your Git and pushing them out to your apps that way. I hope everybody knows not to do that. Um, but maybe you make it part of your config or you use a vault and you leverage the tooling that the vault makes available to get the secrets to your apps. And what about in your own workflows? How often do you work at the command line and need to log into a CLI that requires some credentials? So you have to find a way to store those creds securely, but somehow get them to the command line when you need them. That can lead to some practices like putting the secrets that you need in your file system, which isn't ideal. While you're developing, how do you manage that evolution from developing in a development environment to developing in a production environment. Usually you have different needs in those two environments. Sometimes when you do local development, you're just connecting to a local device, but in prod you need other secrets. So how do you navigate the transition from one to the other? In our current workflows, there's some real downsides. We spend a lot of time worrying about how to get secrets to our applications when that's not really the core thing that we care about. What we care is that service A can connect to service B. But we don't get to think about it in those terms. We have to think about it like, oh, how can I get this secret over there? Which means that we learn a lot of special tooling to deal with secrets, even though that's not our primary domain expertise. And it's not the thing that is going to really deliver value to our business. It's a side concern. And even with all the work that we do to learn this additional tooling, we still do a crappy job, even if we have the best intentions. There's still breaches and hacks that happen, and secrets still leak. So we're not doing well enough at this. So I started to think, what would a nice solution for this problem look like? And think about what it's like for the web applications that you interact with. How many of you here use a password manager? OK, so it's a pretty well-adopted practice in this group. Like, my, my mom doesn't use one yet. I'm trying to get her on it, but we'll get there. So the benefit of using a password manager is that you can create really strong, secure passwords with the click of a button. You can easily rotate them, again, by clicking a button. And it has browser plugins and apps that you can install on your cell phone that auto-fill the secrets and basically auto-authenticate for you so you don't even have to think about it. That's pretty nice. So you can visit your favorite websites or applications, and you don't ever have to worry about the secrets. The secrets are there. It's still an implementation detail that we all deal with, but you don't have to think about it. So let's try to apply that to our development workflows. We as a community can leverage tools that exist today that do exactly that for us. They make secrets available to apps that need them, or even better, that handle the authentication process for them entirely so they don't have to worry about it. In a way, we want to make it so that in our development workflows, the process feels the same as it does when we visit a web app and we use our password manager integration. Even better, we can make these tools publicly available and open source so that anyone can use them. We can make sure that they will work with any CLI or service that you need them to. We can make them so that they can easily navigate the differences between the development and the test and the production environment. This is a big part of the open source work that we do at CyberArk. And I'd love to talk to you more about it. I only got five minutes today. So please get in touch with me on Twitter or come by the booth. CyberArk has a booth um, in the main hall. And it would be a missed opportunity if I didn't say we're hiring and we'll pay you to work in open source and sustainably. So thank you. <laughs>